Welcome everyone, in this video we are going to derive the half angle formula for tangent. So that is, we are going to find the formula for tangent of theta divided by 2. And actually I am going to give you the formulas and then we will prove them. So the first formula is going to be sine of theta divided by 1 plus cosine of theta. And the other formula will be... It will be 1 minus cosine of theta divided by sine of theta. Alright, so by the end of this video, we want to be able to show that these two are correct. Representations of tangent of theta divided by 2. So how do we approach this derivation? Well, to start off, we will use the definition of tangent. That is, tangent of theta over 2 will be equal to sine of theta over 2 divided by cosine of theta over 2. As I said, this, this directly comes from the definition of tangent of x because it is defined as sine of x divided by cosine of x. All right? Now, at this point, I'm going to do an interesting thing. Let me switch colors so that it is more clear. I will multiply the top and the bottom by 2 cosine of theta over 2. All right, this is what I'm doing. Cosine of theta over 2. And by the way, from this point on, I will neglect putting parentheses like this just to uh, keep it shorter. All right. So this will be equal to, let's see. We continue it. We will have on the denominator, it is fairly simple. We have 2 and then cosine of theta over 2 times cosine of theta over 2, which is just cosine squared of theta over 2. Cool. Now on the numerator, we have 2 times sine of some angle times cosine of some angle. Well, we know that if we have 2 sine of x cosine of x, this is just equal to sine of 2x. And in a previous video, I proved that this is correct. You can access that from the cards right now, also from the descriptions part. Now, using this result, the numerator will be sine of theta. All right, we are closing in. We are coming to the end of the derivation. Now we will use the result for cosine of theta divided by 2. In the last video, one of the last videos, you can find it also from the cards and also from the descriptions part. We showed that cosine of theta divided by 2 is equal to plus or minus 1 plus cosine of theta. Oops, I don't have enough space. Let me move it. We have 1 plus cosine of theta divided by 2 under the square root. Using this result, we will substitute this. So we will have sine of theta divided by 2 instead of, so we have cosine of theta over 2 squared. So we will, we will basically square this guy. And then we do that, the plus or minus is cancelled. We will get a positive value and the square root will be gone so that we have 1 plus cosine of theta divided by 2. Here we see that 2's cancel. That's always nice to leave us with oops to leave us with sine of theta divided by 1 plus cosine of theta. And look at this. That is the first equation that we wanted to prove. So great. Now let's do uh, let's do the derivation for the other guy. Let's do that. So we again start by the definition of tangent. We write that tangent of theta over 2 is equal to sine of theta over 2 divided by cosine of theta over 2. But now we won't multiply the top and the bottom by 2 cosine of theta over 2. No, we won't do that. But instead, we will take a similar approach and multiply top and the bottom bottom 
by 2, let's see, sine of theta over 2, and again, 2 sine of theta over 2. All right, this is very similar to the last step, but it is a little different that we have sine instead of cosine. So again, let's see what we have. On the top this time, we will have 2 sine squared theta divided by 2. And the denominator will be sine of theta using the uh, same logic that we just discussed a couple of minutes ago. So now we just need to substitute for sine squared of theta over 2. And using a result from a previous video, we will we know that sine of theta divided by 2 is equal to plus or minus the square root of 1 minus cosine of theta divided by 2. It is the exact same, same formula that we had for cosine of theta over 2. The only difference is that we have a minus sign here, which is quite important. So if we substitute that, we will have 2. And when we square sine of theta over 2, the plus or minus will be cancelled. The square root will be gone to leave us with 1 minus cosine of theta divided by 2. All of that divided by sine of theta. Here we again see that 2's cancel. Well, I guess some things never change. 2's are cancelled. To leave us with then 1 minus cosine of theta divided by sine of theta. And that is the equation that we stated at the beginning, right here. So now we have two different formulas that we can use to find tangent of theta over 2. I hope this video was helpful. If you have any questions, please write them in the comment section. I hope to see you in another video. Until then, take care.